Hey. Hi. 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 Uh, how you doing? I'm, yeah. I'm doing good. I'm glad to be in your city. Good. I'm happy well, to be. Congratulations on your new baby and your marriage. And I want to say I love every one of your albums. And when is you gonna put me on the next one? Oh, you sing or something? Nah, but I can rap. Mm -hmm. She said she can rap. No, I can rap. If you can rap, do it, do it to. I will see you today. Are you? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be. Make it bad when I see you here. <laughs> 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 he ain't do nothing wrong. He, he got to give you a makeup bag. Right. I ain't oh, done nothing wrong to you yet. You gotta wait till I do something wrong to get a makeup bag. You can't just ask for a makeup bag. Right, well, could you just fill my socket, please? Just fill my socket. Okay. Thank you. 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 You know those bags are like thirty five hundred a piece. And I do plan on getting my bag in the picture in. Okay. All right. Thanks, babe. Here we go. Oh man, did you see that he wanted? Like you did, you should have put a ring on him. Mm -mm -mm. Shh, shh. You hear that? You hear that? That was just like a lot of money that just was made real quick. The dream, you know, he, every time, you know, you hear that song, oh my God. he gets paid. Z1079, no doubt, we give you that commercial-free hip-hop and R&B starting at the top of every hour. And, of course, the new home of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. The Dream is in the building. He's in the city today. He's got a brand-new album coming out. Now, Dream, like, um, when you saw the success of that particular song, was that the biggest, was that the biggest song you ever wrote? Or was um, it Mariah Carey joints bigger? No, Umbrella is still. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Day. I forgot about Umbrella. I think that's Damn. The, I think that's still the biggest one. Ooh, man. Today. So do you like when the check come in, does it say Umbrella? Does it say single lady? Like does, that's how your checks come in? Yeah, well that's a lot of titles on there now, so right. you have to kinda look um in, in in between and find it. But you, it's easy to find which ones are the ones. Alright, so as a producer, um the biggest check you ever got was that for Umbrella? Most money you ever made on a record? Um Wow, that's a good. Question. And did you ever I don't get? Know did you ever like? Did you? Or, or tell me about that moment anyway, though, because I mean, this to to the average person listening, you know, your life is you have an amazing life, dude. Like the like to be able to write songs and you know tour all over the world as an artist and write songs and then songs that become like anthems. You know, like I'm just thinking about it. You know, single ladies and umbrella are two of the biggest records of the decade. Like those are gigantic records. So thank you. When you get that check, right? Like, did you? What was that moment that you just got a check and you was just like, "Oh my God, I can't believe I do this!" Like, when, oh, when no. was it? I, that that oh my God moment was before we even knew each other, and that mm -hmm. was um, what happened is, and this is by fate again. Is a year before I wrote Umbrella, I just had got out of a a publishing deal. Okay. So when I wrote Umbrella, I wrote it without being in one. And to a lot of people, we understand what that is. To some, we don't. But what it does is gives you negotiation power. So what I was able to do is every song that I've wrote since Umbrella, I own every one of them. So that's that's pretty much... I'm so probably the only like, person in the business right now that can say so that. So it's like no 50, 50. Like 50% 50 of your mm -mm. publishing doesn't go to anybody. No. So you own all of your publishing? Like yes. the label doesn't even come to you and ask for publishing? No. Wow. How did you negotiate that? It's like I, a was young... out of a, I wrote Umbrella out of a publishing deal. And, wow. and that's what, that's, you know, they wasn't expecting me to go on to have a career. It's just one of those, oh, he's not going to ever write another record again. Right. Wow. And then you write all these big hits. Man. I just wanted to see your face that day when you open up the envelope and you, you open it up for a statement. And it just says umbrella and it's like, you know, eight zeros next to it. Wow. Oh, All right, man. so um, I don't okay. know what you' talking about. <laughs> hey, man, look, you—it's a blessing, bro. You—you know—you enjoy it, and uh, there's a there's a whole bunch of uh, young people that are watching you and that are seeing your experiences, man, and are, that want to produce now because of what you're doing. So, uh, new album, Love King. Let's talk about it, man. Now, what is Love King all about? Where did this come from? Where did it originate? Oh well, it originated. And are you the Love King? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's more so just about having the the best idea of what love is. It, 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 I haven't figured out how to put everything into action to to get it to get myself to qualify as being the super you know love king love king guy. But but it was a part of the trilogy of of this love trilogy that I had, which was love, hate, love versus money, mm -hmm. and love king. And, and this album was supposed to be the king of the of the three. And and with that said, the double entendre in it is you know. 
j just being, you know, the king of, king of this type of music that I do. Mm. And that's what it was about. Wow. All right. Well, uh, you're yeah. doing your thing right now. Uh, we got Dream in the house. And I tell you what, let's rock this Love King. All and right. then we're going to come back with that rocking that thing because I'm, like, really feeling that. That's a really great record. And if you uh, have a request for a Dream song that he uh, performed or a song that he wrote, Give us a call right now, 216-578-1079 or toll free, 800-440-1079. We're commercial free. American Dream yeah. is in the studio on Z1079. It's the saying, like, mm -hmm. there's so many things I could probably put into record. No, but is, were you with somebody that was like, mm -hmm. you don't know me like that? Oh, no, I just hear it so much, you know. I'm mm -hmm. in the South Lake. <laughs> right. I've heard that since forever. That's like, true, I don't right. even remember the right. first or last time but I've heard that. It's kind of funny how you say it. You don't know me. It's like it's almost like two people going back and forth. Right. You don't know me like that. You don't know me like yeah. that. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a basic conversation with you know between me and and the fans basically it's just saying you know you don't know me like that but you should know me like that. So. All right, we got Dream in the building. Z1079. You on the Dream? Yeah, I want to um, win some of those tickets to the listening party. Oh man, you know that thing is full, girl. What's your oh, name? What's your name? Goodness. You want to go tonight? Well, why should you come and hear some new Love King music tonight? Why? Because I want to make love tonight. I want to make love today. That, see, that's, that's, that's the right thing up. to say. You getting in. We're going to bump somebody off the list. I'm going to bump somebody. Okay. Do, do, you, do you have somebody to make love with? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. So you're not looking. So you're. No, I was, I was trying to go in hard. Oh, no, I got the paint. All right, that's what's up. Hold on, we're going to give you some tickets to go on tonight, all right? Okay. Hold on. Z1079, you on with the American Dream? What's up? Hi, um, can y'all play Sweat It Out? Ah! Sweat it out, sweat it out. All right, that's a that's a very that's a that's a very interesting song, Dream. Now, where did that song come from? Now, what was that about? Did you have like come a, on, man? We you had a night. You had a particular no, night. A particular that's, place? I, I have a lot a lot of nights like okay. that. Mm -hmm. That's not just one night. That's, mm -hmm. You can't think of a song after one night. You have to you have to live that way. Right. So we just so is that how Let Me See Your Booty came from? Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. If I say it. Yeah. So so uh, caller, tell us what you love about Sweat It Out. Okay, does it really make you want to sweat it out when you hear it? Um, possibly. I just mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Possibly? I just really like that song. I like it when it came out. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. we got, we're, we're going to play that in a second, okay? Okay. 